So this is Mohammed's hot belly and he's going to talk us through it and how he's finished it off. Uh, hi guys, how you going? This is a uh, hot belly we did for our final project um, for uh, Cert 3 heavy fabrication here at Midland. Um, yeah, so this is the final project as I said and um, I took a bit of extra time on this to get it all TIG welded because um, I really wanted a, quite a nice product um, to show off, uh, you know, to show off my, uh, my ability. Uh, and yeah, we took the time to, um, yeah, fabricate everything nicely, TIG welded, uh, it's a combination, here you got the gold accents, that's all uh, silicon bronze, silicon brazing, all TIG braised, um, and majority of the uh, other welds, um, so there's, you know, some butts there and some circ welds there, it's, that's all done, um, Mainly with 316. Um, the issue, some guys were TIG welding, they started off TIG welding with some carbon and they were having a bit of porosity issues for whatever reason, um, regardless of how well they cleaned it. So I decided going 316, um, maybe saw that and then it did. Um, it worked out well for me. Um, so you've got the handle here, that's two pieces of um, plasma cut off cuts that I found in the bin. Um, it's got a bit of silicon brazing. In between there and uh, just added a bit of colour to it so they can braise wherever I could. Yeah, removable. So the door can be removed if you like. And that's that's just a nut on a bit of bar and then round it off. Inside, I've got grates. Pull one of those. Removable for uh, maintenance or whatever. Yeah, all made out of bar. Rolled up. How much time do you reckon you put in extra than the other guys to get this sort of finish though? Um, so, probably two extra days, I'd say. Um, they all end up finishing up. Or maybe not. I'd say three days. I was working. So put in an extra full day there, an extra day there, sorry, and then I think two more night classes. So mm. two Pull extra that. days for um yeah. Yep. Pull that draw, Marvin. Let's have a look at that. That's all right. And then we've got that little talk us through the handle on that. Yeah. So removable tray. Um, handle's just made out of a bit of angle, equal length angle. Um, and just drill some holes and uh, fill it out with some silicon bronze. Tick braze that in there. Yep, looks smart. Yeah, uh, something a bit different. Kept the welds underneath, so the welds underneath aren't that pretty, but it's all right. let's just keep it that way so you couldn't see any welds. And then let's just have a look at the lobster back and the cowl and how you've plug welded that. And yeah. So, cowl up top, hot riveted in. Um, I made a pattern development for that and then um, cut that out by hand. Uh, I believe it's just tin snips we used. And then um, formed it by hand because uh, it was only, it's only what, one mil. I think it's even smaller, I think it's lighter than that. Um, so yeah, I was able to just form that by hand over a horn and an anvil, and then plugged, plug welded onto the, um, the chimney. Nice and simple, nice and solid. And uh, moving down, same deal with the um, the flanges. We pattern development, also oxy cut them out, and then uh, yeah, a bit more TIG brazing here, silicon bronze. It's out of pipe, it that lobster back. Yeah, lobster yeah. back, uh, same deal here. Made a pattern development for that uh, for a lobster back join, lobster back 90 degree elbow. And yeah, same deal. Um, silicon bronze in there, keeping it all aesthetically pleasing. Looking nice. 